I truly do not know how I could run my SEO agency without this tool. And if you're DIYing your SEO, you absolutely need to know about it and use it and incorporate it into your entire SEO process. It is so powerful. Let's jump right in. All time favorite SEO extension for Google Chrome. And that is called the detailed SEO extension. It is such a powerful tool. And I want to go over some quick tips for getting the most out of it. So I'm going to just use one of my website pages for an example. So once you ex install the extension, you're going to see a little D right here. And so this D is going to tell you what you have set for the SEO title. It's going to tell you what you have set for your meta description. It's going to tell you the URL and the canonical URL. So basically you want these to all be green. So it'll basically check for you and see if you're falling within like optimized range. It will also tell you some little tips too to keep in mind, like 65 characters, how to create the description, etc. The goal is for all of these to be green. And then as you go further down, the other big items are word count. So this will tell you how many words are on the page, which is really, really helpful when you're using this tool to analyze your competitors because you can see what the word count is as well as the images and the headings that they're using. So overall, super, super helpful. And then the other piece of this that I love to use is the heading section. The heading section is for your HTML heading. So we have um, H1, H2s, H3s, etc. And so the key is to only ever have one H1. Your H1 should always include your focus keyword. You'll want to have, of course, multiple H2s. And then under H2s, you can have H3s and just make sure that you don't go from an H3 to an H1. And from an H3, you can either go to an H3, an H4, or an H2. You kind of want to have like a outline type structure where you're not jumping around. Like I would never go from a two to a four, for example. And just see, like make sure is your focus keyword in this H1. So I could definitely further optimize this and be a little bit more aggressive with my SEO on this page by including it in my first H2. That'd be a really good thing. I should totally do that actually. I hope you found this quick little tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them below and I'll get back to you ASAP and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my latest and greatest videos.